Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and welcome to day number 18 of the 24 day overview of Schumann's Träumerei. Today we are going to do a deep dive into the pedal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at measures 17 and 18 and the pedaling I offered you in the initial tutorial and I'm going to do a side view of my foot on the floor and then also a view inside the piano so you can see what's going on with the pedal and hopefully that will help you improve your pedaling technique. So we'll do the foot first so let's go to the foot. All right here is the pedaling for measures 17 and 18. I'm going to show you both options. My heels on the ground and then my foot, it's almost as if I'm grabbing this part of my foot on the pedal, right where the toes start, right here. So right there. I'll show you the two pedaling options I showed you in the initial tutorial. So the first one was just pedaling twice. So it looks and sounds like this. So I'm going to play the notes down. I had an option where there were a couple of more pedals on beat four and on beat one. So let me show you that as well. Play pedal. Holding the left hand. Pedal. Pedal. So now we're going to go inside the piano. I'll give you a different view of the damper so you can see what's going on with those two options. All right, so this is the inside of my grand piano and all those black things are dampers. Notice when I press the pedal down, they all lift up. And if I hold a note, it just holds that note up. All right, so I'm going to do pedaling option one, which is just beat one, beat two, and then beat one. It looks and sounds like this. So you see, single damper up. These are going to be up too until I put the pedal on. Then everything's ringing. And now I'm just going to hold this. I'm going to do it kind of long this time just so you see how it's overlapping with this F. Then I'm going to put the pedal down. In measure 17, we'll pedal on beat one, beat four, 18, we'll pedal on beat one, two, and the next one. And so what I want you to notice is the notes that I'm holding are holding no matter if the pedal is up or down. today's lesson. I hope that you found it helpful and I just want to encourage you to stick with the pedal. Pedaling is one of the trickiest things in piano playing. Because of the timing of it, it can be very confusing. So I hope that helped clear up some things for you with regards to the pedal. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for subscribing, for sharing this with others who might enjoy the style of teaching. And thank you for the donations that you're sending in through the Super Thanks. 
I appreciate those super thanks so much because it allows me to a lot more time in my teaching schedule to create videos like this that can help more people all around the world. So thank you very much. Please make sure to let me know where you're from and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.